Hey, how's it going? Today we are going to play some games with Iron Thorns, the deck that technically won the world championships, and answer the question, is this deck actually good? This is, I believe, one card off of the list that ended up winning worlds. I cut the second Colrus for a future capsule. I don't know what it would be best as, but I just found that the Colruses weren't coming up that much. There was like a lot of hands where I could just Colrus for energy in the stadium, but rather research and try and find it or something like that and it seems like the colors would be better in a legacy energy list which this one is not running i also wanted the fourth future capsule because in those games where you end up playing down all four of the iron thorns and you're trying to like pivot or damage one to the bench but you still need the future capsule to do enough damage or something like that Maybe it's not as good as I think, but I just found myself wanting more, especially like one's prized or something. But yeah, the deck is just trying to disrupt your opponent and hope they brick. We have crushing hammers to discard energy, catchers to hit into things. But yeah, we definitely want to bring up things that can one shot us or do big damage and get the first hit off on it. That's why we have the four catcher and three boss. It's pretty important since our damage output is so low where if we hit them after like they knocked us out just letting them take four prizes with one pokemon isn't great we also have the canceling cologne in lost city to deal with mimikyus and get rid of them forever there is double canceling cologne maybe in case people are running to mimikyu or just to find it a little bit easier really we're trying to kind of brick our opponent with a judge at some point and hope that they can ever draw out of it. A lot of decks are relying on things like Squawkabilly and Pheasantipity and Mew EX Luminion. And they can't use any of those cards. They can't use Greninja either. So they're going to get off to a slow start. And then we start attacking and throw a Judge at them. They might just never recover from that. The deck is relying a lot on the opponent not being able to play the game. I don't really expect the deck to do very well at the upcoming regional in Baltimore, I think it is. I think it was like a right place, right time kind of thing. It takes advantage really well of like greedy lists, totally reliant on ability Pokemon. And I imagine people are going to adjust their list or have some kind of answer for the Iron Thorns. But there is also the chance that people just keep running lists with no good answers for Thorns and a minimal amount of draw supporters. And someone just runs through everything with the deck. But overall, I don't think it's really that good of a deck and it probably shouldn't do well. For a little bit so that's the list let's get into the games all right this first game i i'm assuming at this point that i'm up against ancient box i played against so many ancient box when i was trying to get games with this deck it was getting a little rough because that is not a good matchup they can just shut off your abilities if they really need to draw with greninja they just shut your abilities off with the flutter main and they can stop you from one shotting them with their booster capsules and then at the end of the game, they just one shot you. So they can really just pass for like three turns and then take three one shots and win the game. But luckily this is not ancient box. It is a double roaring moon deck, I guess. Or they're just playing a heavier baby moon in, uh, in the second place style of deck. But I'm hoping to hit a double turbo off this energy lotto. Just in case I don't get it, I do decide to grab the Turbo Energizes back up to just at least guarantee that I get some energy into play and that I can hopefully attack next turn. I bump their Pokestop so that they hopefully can't do anything, which luckily I, that turns out to be correct because they can't. I throw, I throw out their Crushing Hammer since I have to research anyway. I just want to research that hand, get rid of all those cards. I don't need them anymore. And I was hoping to find a future capsule to knock this out regardless, but now I have the Pokemon Catcher, so I'll just bring up a EX and hit into that, which is always nice to get the first hit on these EXs so that after they attack once, we can knock them out. Or if they use the Frenzied Gouging attack, they do have to knock themselves out. So it's definitely cool that we flipped heads on that. And now I can also next turn use crushing hammer hopefully discard the energy off of that bench roaring moony x and knock this one out we'll actually be in a pretty solid spot they're getting the petra in here which is like making me kind of nervous that they have a uh, like a canceling clone or something and they're just going to canceling cloning like go off but they're benching that because they know that that is a solid attacker in this matchup like all they need to do is 
take two prizes at some point. And then when I'm down to two prizes, they can just one shot two iron thorns back to back with a Petra. So I'm definitely going to want to hit into that before they can attack with it. I grab the crushing hammer off of the Arbin because all I really want to do this turn is discard that energy off the bench. But I flip another tails, get a, another iron thorns on the bench just to kind of spread out my energy so that I have more options of Pokemon to attack with next turn and take two prizes, which is nice. It looks like they're going to be attacking me this turn. This is like the really terrible part about Roaring Moon in this matchup is that you just can't hit the 230 on the Iron Thorns. And I do think they go about this wrong. I think they have to frenzy or use the second attack because now what I can do is just kind of ignore this thing and hit into this Petron if I'm able to flip a Pokemon Catcher heads. Yeah, so I get the Catcher off the research. I'm gonna try to bring up that Petron because that is the real threat. Because if I do knock out that uh, Iron Thorns without hitting into this first, they'll just be able to win the game. I burn one canceling Cologne. I don't know why I don't burn the second one. I think it's just because it's online and uh, I never know when people are going to have like a random weird card in their deck like Mimikyu or something like that. I've seen Mimikyu put into some strange decks online. So I just hold the other one. As to not get cheesed by something weird. I probably could have just played it out. There's no world where Mimikyu goes into Roaring Moon. And now I have a bonus dead card in my deck because I didn't do that. Um, but yeah, now in a great spot just because... uh. I was able to hit into that Petron and they actually do kind of, I do like this play. I said, I didn't like them using uh, the frenzied gouging last turn, but this turn I do kind of like it because they judged me and it's really just saying like, all right, I'm just, I'm going to get energy dark patch next turn and, and win the game, whether you like it or not. So it's up to you to take two prizes. I don't know. Fair enough for sure. I think it's kind of funny. You don't really run into plays like that a lot on the ladder. But with all the bosses and Poke Gears in this deck, I do just Poke Gear into a boss and take that one. All right, so this game, we are up against uh, Palafin. Palafin EX. And I don't know, this is kind of a weird matchup. It's a little bit deceiving because you're like, oh, they're weak to lightning, so it should be a good matchup. But it's really kind of doesn't matter because... While they're weak to lightning, we still don't one-shot them. Because they have like 340 hit points, which is kind of insane. So knowing that, I decide to just judge them and hope that they can't do anything. Because if they can get two Palafins out, they're probably just going to win the game. And I judge them, and it seems like they drew a lot better than their hand before. I could have attached the future capsule too before I just passed, but I decided not to because I want to, you know, leave the option open of the turbo energized tool if like I really need to do that. Probably could have just attached it because I ended up drawing into two anyway and it would have thinned out my deck a little bit. Now, I do make a mistake here. I moved the lightning energy to my bench guy when I should have moved the double turbo because I had a lightning in hand and you kind of want to preserve the Pokemon that you can attack with most easily and Pokemon are more vulnerable on or in the active than on the bench so I should have moved the double turbo it does end up working out for me kind of like almost like mind games they're probably thinking oh well he has a double turbo in hand so I need to knock out the one with the lightning but so yeah it's kind of funny how that worked out now we're in a terrible spot and I top deck canceling clone of all cards <laughs> like the the last card I need in this situation so I am just gonna hit them for not a knockout and hope that they don't have a switch but I imagine they'll have some kind of way to switch at the time I wasn't thinking that they would because I was like oh they play Petra why do they need switching cards but this deck plays more switches than I thought and there's always ear to, to like pick them out of the deck so yeah they are in a completely fine spot and I needed a top deck of lightning energy just to not lose this game. 
I don't know, I think this kind of shows that Iron Thorns isn't the best deck in the world. Like, any decent competitive deck should be able to deal with a deck like Palafin. I don't know. It is kind of like the perfect matchup for Palafin when you think about it, though. They are just one-shotting everything and then also tanking a hit. Whereas, like, in a lot of matchups now, 250 just isn't quite enough. And they Irda for another guy. They're super adding in their things. And I think that they play a Canceling Clone here, which just blows my mind. I don't know why that deck would ever have Canceling Clone. I don't make them play out all the actions because uh, I just saw them super on back in. They have energy attached. There's no need to make them do all that. I'll just kin seed. Well, that is the Iron Thorns deck that won Worlds. It's pretty simple, straightforward deck. If there's a lot of people playing Lugia, you're going to have a pretty good time as long as they don't tech for you because I do think if Lugia just throws in a Flutter Main, they probably have pretty good odds to to win the Iron Thorns matchup. Just once they get out, Archaeopter's gonna, Lugia can just run through Thorns. But other than that, I don't know. I don't have the most confidence in this deck, as you could probably tell, so I'm probably not really the best one to speak on it. I don't really think it's favored into almost anything in the format, but I must be wrong. Obviously, it won Worlds and it always has like the old like judge path factor where you shut off abilities, give your opponent a four card hand, you can be favored into any deck. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and have a good one.